It's our biggest fundraiser of the year, and it's uh, time for us to get together and really celebrate the what I consider the, one of the simplest fundraisers that we have. Our kids don't have to sell anything, and we come out today and we celebrate by having a lot of fun, getting the kids active, and just really enjoying time with each other as well as uh, with their family outside of the classroom. All the students raised a certain amount of money by uh, calling out to their relatives, friends, and family to send donations into the school, and uh, they reached their goal. So today we had a great fun-filled day for them with some extra special surprises. We have a big day of fun for the kids, broken up by class. They go to all different stations, and today is all about nutrition and learning about your body, how to eat right and how to exercise, and uh, just have fun. They did everything from they started out on the playground. Uh, they had a bunny hop, uh, rock, paper, scissors, Rochambeau uh, competition. They went into the cafeteria, and there was a nutritionist here from Baptist Health and taught them all about eating right and their bodies and exercising. And then in the gym, we had a, uh, two large inflatables for them to run around and jump around at. Our goal was basically to raise $20,000 to reach our ultimate goal for what the PTO does to support the school and other activities that we have here. And we far surpassed that again this year, which was fantastic. They had several awards along the way for different types of milestones, but the ultimate milestone today was to be able to slime Mrs. Ivy. And they've been so excited about sliming Mrs. Ivy for weeks, actually, since we pretty much started this fundraiser. And uh, I think that uh, enticed the kids to reach out to some of their grandparents and things that they might have sold something to traditionally and just ask for a donation. We love it that 100% of, of the donations that we get stays with our school. Our goal was $20,000 and we have now raised over $30,000 and still going. So thank you to all the parents and all the relatives and all the friends of Greenville for supporting us.